Alrighty guys, how's it going? Okay, we are about to take a look at the AK-47, but not this regular scratched up, beaten, Kalishnikov looking do jig we got in front of us. We're hopping into the armory and we're going to be running the steel curtain, okay? This thing right here is all kinds of tactical, sexy. So once you equip the blueprint, we'll hop in right here and look at these attachments that uh, come on this thing. Now, for the barrel, we got the Spec Snaz Elite, which is the first barrel that you will unlock anyways. For the under barrel, we got the Tactical Foregrip. It just so happens I'm down to it now, but that's the seventh attachment for this weapon that you unlock ammunition we get the 40 round mag once again first thing unlocked but i don't think i would have it uh available quite yet in the site we got the apx5 a holographic site this is one that i personally am not that big of a fan of in this game but we're going to leave this thing 100 percent how the blueprint has it set up and then the final attachment they put on this is the fss close quarter stock which is one of the last few attachments that you will unlock for this weapon now, if you're interested in getting this blueprint, it's not one you have to purchase. It is one you can get for 100% for free. You just got to go to Barracks, select Missions and Challenges, and then right there it is. It's on the Warriors Code Missions. To get it, all you got to do, you got 12 objectives that you got to complete. First one is get two public wins. Secondly, get 75 kills. Then get five headshots in team deathmatch. Then get 20 kills with equipment. Capture 20 flags in ground war. Get 20 point blank kills. Get five wins in search and destroy. Get 25 kills of kill streaks. Get 40 kills with your secondary weapon. Get 10 long shot kills. Get five wins in gunfight. And then win 10 public matches. Now, that sounds like a lot. And it kind of is. But the good news is, is none of those are really that difficult i mean in all honesty they're just it's kind of a time consuming thing so it's just you know you make sure you have these missions equipped whenever you're playing with your friends or you know you're just screwing around online working on camos whatever and before you know it you'll have these things done like i have done most all of the main weapon ones especially the legendaries and epics and i mean i got most all of them done without really trying i just i just finished them in game while I was working on other stuff and it's just a good way to multitask like I said pretty cool neat free weapon blueprint so we got to match a hard point to test this thing out now as you can see I haven't used the AK-47 that much I've got it to like level 30 but most all of that has actually been in gunfight games so I haven't run this much at all but I'm getting ready to start running it full time until I get it gold and uh, there will be a best class setup coming out for this thing soon so we're going to play around with this this blueprint setup though and see how it fares we're going to post up on this wall because even with that spec snaz barrel with this optic and everything we should be good to compete long range but it's not looking like we got anybody contesting that wall mount oh my wiener dog okay where did, where did this guy just get shot from this did we just get shot through that wall i think we really did okay these guys are not pushing like I figured they would. Okay, the ADS time for this is not that bad. It seemed like it was a lot quicker just then. Uh, I don't know if that had something to do with some aim assist or what. Okay. I gotta see now, I'm pretty sure the penetration on this gun is actually pretty good, even without FMJ, since it's hard point. These, I would figure these guys would push more. Okay, so we got a guy on steps. Yeah, now, now managing the recoil for this weapon is something where... It's very unique, like in turn, like in, like in real life and on games, like with this one where they really stuck with a more realistic weapon mechanics for these weapons. It's a lot more noticeable. Okay, I should have died right there ten times over. Like it has a, it's more linear. Like you don't have a lot of side uh, recoil, like side to side. It's more just straight up. So that's just something to keep in mind as opposed to a lot of the other weapons. And that's just because of how the bolt cycles on this thing. So anytime you can mount, definitely do it. But right now, this thing, it's got a pretty solid kill time. It's got good damage. Uh, anything, anything that looks poor about this weapon is most likely operator error on my end because I just have not used it that much. Like I said, this is just a look at the blueprint. We're not, we're not really looking at the setup because this is not how I would recommend running this weapon if you, uh... If you was trying to set it up for optimal performance, but having this blueprint on there, I think it looks way better than the uh, the stock version. And then you can even with the blueprint, you know, you can throw on whatever attachments you'd like. Oh my God, did we get him through the wall? No, he's got an assist. I, once again, I don't know what it is with assist, man, but I, I just get him. I am sorry for drop shotting you, my man, but it had to be done. Oh, 
Anytime I get a good lineup, bro, I have to run to somebody with a sniper or a marksman rifle and they just one shot me. And that is so gosh darn depressing. Okay. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna chunk some grenades because you know what they're this part of the class we're using, so why not? Let's lay down. That guy's gonna be watching that window. Or maybe not. Okay. Well I know we got this guy who's still here. Yes, okay, we should have checked that corner first, but I was too zoned in on that guy that was still on the hard point. Okay, so let's mount up right here and see. So there's a long shot. Yeah, I mean, this thing even mounted, the accuracy's a bit off. But that's just something about this gun. But it should only take a couple rounds, even at that distance. But I think the Spec Snaz light barrel or Elite barrel, whatever, it's a bit shorter, a bit lighter weight. And that's probably what's knocking our accuracy a bit, cause like you shouldn't, it shouldn't be that noticeable when we're mounted. Okay, so we got him. It, this is a bit of a spray and pray gun and spray and pray setup. In all honesty, uh, it, it, it'll be a bit different if you're used to running like the M4 and stuff, cause those guns are just absolute lasers, no matter how you set them up. And this is just a bit more clunky, but I mean, it's, it makes up in in terms of damage and range. So we're close to the top spot. I we'll want need to play the objective a bit more. That's really what's taking that other dude off the uh, off the top. This gun's meant to play back like you Oh, getting up close and personal with this thing is not its bread and butter by any means. And right now I'm getting thrown off quite a bit because whenever I'm getting shot, the, the flinch is throwing my gun a bit higher, like in combination with the recoil, and that's causing me to uh, lose some of these gunfights. I'm trying to get people in the head a bit more. Okay, that guy right there behind that Jeep is causing me some problems. Okay, that, they're going to be pushing that side. They're going to be pushing through mid. Pop a reload. Reload time with 40-round mags not that bad because we don't have a slide of hand, I don't think, do we? I already forgot what we had on here. Edit. Class. No, okay, yeah, we definitely don't have slide of hand. Okay, where'd that man go? I thought, not, okay, definitely not spawning there anymore. So we got him. Let's try to mount up. Awesome. We popped him with a headshot. Sweet. Taking our spot at the top of the leaderboard. We got 41 seconds. In the hard point, 12 kills. Not quite sure how many deaths we have. I wish that's something I could add to the leaderboard. Because I like being able to know what my KD is real time. Okay. This bag, I think they definitely got spawns now, which is unfortunate. Oh, baby. Let me just flash myself. Yeah, yeah, okay, they spawn him back here. Boom! Dude, oh my god, this recoil is just getting me. It's getting me every time. I try to jump in, and I expect my bullets to fly straight, and then my gun just goes to Jupiter and Mars. So yeah, let's get this hard point time, baby. So they're spawning out. I thought half the team had left. We got we got almost a full team of 155s on the, on the other team. So I mean, we're doing, this weapon's doing pretty good. We're playing experienced players. Don't get me wrong. Just because you level 155 don't mean you're good. It just means you got a lot of time in the game. But normally experience translates into at least knowing how to play the game. So just keep that in mind. Boom. So hip fire accuracy. This thing has pretty good hip fire. Uh, like that's a pretty good pattern. So resorting to hip fire is, uh, you know, not going to be not going to be a last resort like it is with some weapons. Some of the weapons on here are all over the place, and that right there was just a stupid death on my part. That was all my fault, bro. And that right there is what you call Call of Duty spawns at its finest. I mean, just look at that. He spawned in another man's barrel. Uh, that's just that's just the price you pay for playing objective game modes on smaller maps. There's not a whole lot you can do about that, right? It's not like the developers do it to you on purpose, just setting up bad spawns, but... In a perfect world, that wouldn't happen. But it's great when it plays to your benefit. Can't argue about that. So we got him weak wherever he is. He's laying down, and we just get, we get shot by Chris Kyle across the map, apparently. That's, that's just what you run into. Bro, okay, okay, okay. I'm, 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 getting, I'm getting aggravated now. People don't put down all these things. I'm just trying to come out here and shoot them with my AK-47. Come on now, step out of that room into the hard point, sir. And that's going to land right on me. Why wouldn't it land right on me? God dang. Just trying to showcase a blueprint and can't catch a break to save me life. I'm glad my teammate can kill him because I'm having a rough time. Now explain to me, game, why that not kill that man. Was it that 1% packet loss we just got? Because on my screen, on my screen, my bullets flew right through his chest cavity. 
But at least we're winning as a team. And I mean, we're playing the objective. We got the most time in by four seconds. I think that dude is still in this room. Okay, I'm just going to spray and pray. We got 40 bullets. You might as well use them. I don't think the government military is on a budget. Especially in the gaming scene of things. Wait, wait what, what is his name and thing? Oh, okay, I thought it said Elon Musk. It's about to say Epic Gamer Tag, but it just says Elk something or another. Okay, so let's see if we can we can end this game pretty good and just try to avoid getting blown up by this VSAT. VSATs are so frustrating whenever you're trying to play an objective. But they're good for it. I'm hoping somebody rocks in here with a rocket launcher or something and starts shooting that thing down. Anytime you play a game, you always hope that somebody does the right thing. You just kind of end up with everybody hoping somebody does the right thing. And most of the time, nobody's even got a rocket launcher equipped. But it looks like that bad boy's already out of the sky. I am sorry for laying down. Okay, here we go. Got a double kill. We're getting back in action. And then we get shot with a mm, Marksman rifle, baby. Gotta love it. At least this is just a blueprint setup. But this is like, this is just a gun I'm not used to running. It's very, very alien to me. I want you to look at how I'm getting pooped on by these marksman rifles right now. I, it is not the people running subs or ARs. It is me getting one-shotted by marksman rifles. And 90% of the time when I run a marksman rifle, for the life of me, I cannot one-shot somebody. I can hit them right in the eyeball. And then, and then they just come around the corner and they stick it in me. You know, I just I might as well look at them and call them daddy. I mean, there's not, not a whole lot I can do. Oh, just bank shot that. Hey, sir. It just feels good to get one kill after getting shut down every three seconds. Precision airstrike. Phenomenal. My god, dude. At least at least we're winning. That's that's all that, that's all I can think about right now. That's the only positive we got. What are your game spawns? Work with us here. Let's not spawn in touching each other. I'm so sorry that the uh, the KD performance this particular game, this particular video was so atrocious. But at least you've got to see this gun in multiple uh, multiple fights. Ooh, there we go. Nice. This thing is made for headshots, man. If you can, if you if you're good at popping headshots, then you'll be good to go. This this sight's messing with me a lot too, because I'm not used to running. I normally run iron sights, um, and the few times that I've used the AK and really enjoyed using it, I stuck with iron sights because like just to, even though it's I should have kept shooting. Even though it's not a lot, uh, but anytime I have an optic on this thing, it just, it messes with my reference. You know what I mean? Like, my, my muscle memory for, for how to hold, and just since the recoil is so different for this gun anyways. What can I say? But we, but we all know that I'm just making a bunch of excuses right now for not doing good. That's all it is. Just trying to compensate for my poor performance. What just happened? What just exploded? Hey, hey, we should have got him too. Now, there is a class set up with AK-47. It's kind of set up like the AK-74U, and you see all these videos about people saying, like, secret hidden weapons, and it's really just just different variations of the same gun. Uh, so, the AK-74U, I've tried using that class, and that thing kind of sucks. So, I'm going to mess around with that a little bit more once I start working on the camos for this thing. Because I'll be getting my ARs platinum hopefully soon. Maybe by the end of this week, depending on how my schedule and stuff works out. But it's, it, I'm really enjoying using a bunch of different weapons and getting to play around with the attachments. Nice having a purpose behind doing it. Is this guy right here? No, okay. so I just like an idiot shooting at the wall. Nothing out of the ordinary. Try to accomplish that without killing myself. Hello there. Whoo! Okay, I would like to have dropped 30 kills, but unless we just get a, a killer four piece right here, I don't think that's gonna happen, Captain. Not with all the assists I get, that's for sure. Like I swear, people just they they see me and they like, okay, we're gonna follow around Pro Caliber Gaming, and we're gonna make sure he gets nothing but assists the whole game. And we get slammed by a Martian rifle at the end. Okay, I'm still posting this video. Don't get me wrong, because I just want to look at this blueprint and do a quick rundown on it. But this game, if this is the first video you've seen of mine, please look at other videos, because this this is not how I normally play. And I did get some ping spikes and stuff in there. Not you know, not not trying to 
shift my responsibility for the poor performance. 26 and 30. I went negative. That's not good. That's not good at all. I normally try to maintain like a 3.0 KD. But anyways, guys, that right there is that AK-47 variant. I hope you like it. I know some of y'all really enjoy the blueprint videos, so I'm going to keep them coming as long as y'all want to see them. And yeah, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, even though the in-game performance right there was kind of garbage. And hit that subscribe button if you're new. Be sure to check out the other videos. And until the next one, adios.